Hello and a warm welcome to this brief introduction to Conforming Automatic for Cucumber Selenium Java. Uh, my name is Stefan Schulz. I'm the CTO of Conformic. So what is Conformic Automatic and how does it work? So Conformic Automatic converts manual test assets more or less in any form or format uh, into test scripts for automatic test execution with your test automation tool of choice. So in this version, we're going to look at one product, which, for example, converts uh, you know, test plans or Excel files into specifically Eclipse Java with Cucumber. And of course, uh, Selenium is used for execution. So this is a complete open source based solution. And what Conformic provides is basically the engine that actually converts, uh, first normalizes, and then converts these test cases based on NLP technology uh, into uh, you know method invocations uh, from the test automation framework, then, which is Cucumber based, and so basically it generates the scripts. In other words, which can then just be executed by the test automation engineer, and uh, this is what we're going to show you now in this demo. In this demo, we're actually going to show you a demo against this web application that everybody can play around with under this link here. It's just a demo application, so everything is fake here. Um, basically, you can create some accounts here, transfer some money, and uh, do withdrawals. Um, and basically, what we're going to show you is how an install, properly installed and configured uh, plugin looks like, how we prepare Eclipse Java for execution, and then how we import tests and, of course, execute them. And before we go into that, uh, let's just take a quick look at the scenario where, I say, I have some manual tests. This is what we mean by a sample of manual tests. So this is some test descriptions where basically we have this Excel format. The main thing is we have some kind of test steps and expected results and some way of telling where a test ends and starts. This is actually a very common format that you also see when you, for example, export to Excel from ALM tools manually. So, or this is, you know, so in other words, the concrete format does not matter. It just matters that you have these columns and the rest, as you will see, you can configure. Uh, then there may be a word about the census. As you see, there are some senses that contain data, others which just are actions, let's say click a button, and even multiple senses. All of these things, as you will see, can be handled by Conformic Automatic. And we see these are the five tests that we will just now import in our demo. Yeah, and that brings us to Eclipse, Eclipse Java. So this is open source, can be downloaded for free from Eclipse website. Um, that's what has been done before. Um, so in order to install our plugin for Conformic Automatic, you have to basically go through this standard installation uh, dialog and you know, provide us the archive, the plugin you download from the Conformic website. So we have done this already. And after a successful installation, you basically see these uh, as amongst others these two components here um, listed as installed components. And for example, if you go to properties, you can also see that there is some kind of documentation that we have attached as part of the general information. This documentation is also available as a separate PDF document that you can download from Conformic. And that is that. So we have a proper installation, then we need a license key. Now for licensing after the installation, you will see you have this conformic licensing dialog there. So after you've installed the plugin, you need you get your information that you require in order to generate a license for you. This you have to send to, to copy, for example, to clipboard and send to uh, sales, who then will return you a key that you basically need to reference here. And then we're all set to go. All set to go, except that we still need to kind of set up a little bit our uh, target project where we want to go and to make this a little bit simpler. Conformic has, um, is basically providing an example project that you can use to get started. So the way how we do this is that we basically say we want to uh, import an existing sample project uh, that we have. Uh, then we go to the archive file, which we again have downloaded from Conformic and uh, give me one minute. So this is this uh, project. <coughs> 
that we then install. So this basically gives you a kind of pre-configured project that has a Cucumber-based test automation framework, which Conformic has created. So let us just review what that actually concretely means. It means that we have no test cases, but we have a bunch of libraries that we require for the execution, um, which are basically open source libraries. And then uh, there's also some kind of Cucumber reporting uh, files that we provide. And then of course there's the driver here in this case it's the Chrome driver. Uh, and of course, very important, the readme where you can see what are all the requirements. So again, you need to have Java installed. Uh, this is one important thing. And then you need to make sure what is the cur current version of your Chrome Google driver, because this Chrome driver here is very specific to version 76. Now, Google likes to update their Chrome drivers automatically. And if you need a new driver or replace the driver, then you can find that under this website. Anyway, here's some more information, good reading. One thing that needs to be done though in this project is that after you import this, you still need to configure the build path and you go here and make Conformic aware, of, well, this project actually make Eclipse aware of that you have some of your own libraries. So you basically go here, you select uh, all, which is this library folder, and open, and now these are added. So now you're basically ready to go. Your example project is ready to go. So now we just would like to actually convert the tests into scripts that use these libraries and this driver to execute. So how we do that in the next step is we go again to import, but this time we're actually going to use conformic automatic folder. And in here you see two choices from Excel from ALM. So this time we're gonna go from Excel. We tap next, we select the project. Right now we have only one. Yeah, by the way, we should also re rename this ideally. And then we are going again back to our folder where we downloaded information from Conformic and we can select this example that I've just shown you. Next step is that I have to say where in my Excel file is this header row, which is this row, right? So that it knows where to look for the information to get the configurations. Um, so basically this is automatically filled and if there's some errors here, you can change this mapping of the actual columns against the columns we need to know about. So in this case, we have a good match. On the next page, there's some optional configuration information that we will skip in this first demo and then we basically click finish. So what now happens is that the NLP engine that Conformic provides is churning. It's going through and giving us a simple overview. Well, and it produces a couple of files. So firstly, you will notice the source folder all of a sudden has files, right? These files uh, are basically all the source files required to run with these libraries. And also a report has been generated, which provides in a little bit more detail what has actually happened in the conversion process. Here you see also some information, for example, what has not been mapped, if there's any failures to map any test steps. In this case, there is none reported. Here is the actual mapping file generated. And then of course here, the most important stuff is the, uh, for example, the runner files. Here you see for each test, we have one file generated where we just kind of, that, that's the file we need to invoke to run the test. Then those of you who know Cucumber, so the interesting file is the Gherkin file. Let me just to say some time, open this with the text editor. So here we see the uh, Gherkin statements that have been created for the manual tests that we have just seen. So for example, for the clean database, you know, we have, it has generated some Gherkin where it opens and then it, it checks, meaning it verifies, et cetera. Then matching that, we have a test step definitions, which are here. So this is the interesting part. So all of basically these uh, statements that we have generated in the Gherkin have matching on already pre-filled right, uh, uh, invocations of uh, how to actually do, how to actually uh, can do uh, verify that a page shows something. This is based on the NLP mapping, so it generates um, calls into our utilities, which is uh, Selenium functions, which you are happy, which we are, we are happy to let you take a look at. So we have created a bunch of libraries that allow you to do some basic checking. This is what the NLP actually uses or maps to, and this is what we see here being invoked. 
So you can see there's, you know, opening of a browser verification calls, or here you can see how the form is being filled. All of this stuff is automatically generated. And also automatically spit out is the framework, which is basically the utilities that are that can be used here uh, for executing code. Okay, and that's finally maybe also page object model. So we have here, let's say, a very simple version of a page object model where we just kind of uh, put identifiers, uh, object identifiers, their type, Selenium type, the locator type, as well as the object identifier here. So it's a link text example. Um, okay, this is another link text example, but they basically from the test steps, pages identified and the object identification is identified. So all this stuff has been generated, but the main thing you're interested in, how does it run? So how I do this is basically I'll go to click run as on the runner file, um, run as JUnit test, and that will basically bring up JUnit to execute which in turn will start the Google Chrome browser, which is configured by default to be your uh, browser of choice. And then it will execute this manual test as an automatic test, which is to click a link, uh, click a button, make sure that everything happens properly. So you have various ways of how, how to analyze these results. So one view is this view, which uh, comes out of the box from Eclipse. Then we have in the reports also other ways where, for example, we can take a look at an HTML report, which again shows you the Gherkin, which has all gone perfectly. Maybe uh, just to show you how things go, we can actually edit our Gherkin file in another place and uh, maybe introduce an error. So let's say we create a typo and a verification in one of our tests. Uh, just to kind of show that how things go like when things fail and then basically we go into the run as and we run it as a JUnit test now this is a test that actually does a little bit more this will actually uh, you know go to the registration page of this application enter user information and then click and make sure that the user has been registered uh, correctly so right now you will see, see click on register link fill out some information into the form. This is all again from the manual test. Click register and do a verification that the string has appeared properly. So now we see actually, this is then how failures look like. So you actually actually see what happened that it actually looked for a string which with a typo in it. And again, uh, when you go for example to this HTML report, uh, you get also here again the information which comes out of the box and you can identify as to why has actually this test failed Okay, and that basically brings me to the end of this demo already and uh, Just want to quickly summarize so this is to inform you that conformic has created a completely new and low-cost product line Which is purely for the purpose of generating test scripts for manual tests So there's no modeling involved and as you see we go from Excel or ALM test plans directly to scripts. So the idea of this is that we want to enable to reduce the effort to get a lot of manual tests automated and the target user of this um, tool will be a test automation engineer that's getting manual tests from the manual tester. And uh, of how does this whole thing work? As you know, Conformic has a long history of working this space already. So we're using our proven uh, you know, intelligent test automation technology from other products also in this product. And uh, the good thing about this is a non-intrusive, easy to deploy solution to get you started even here with three uh, open source uh, solutions. We have also solutions for any other tools, uh, for example, for HCL one test UI that you may want to take a look at. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, please contact sales at Conformic, things like a trial license or custom solutions for your kind of operating environment. With that, I want to thank you and wish you a good day.